in this question, we're told we have an element in period three, and we're looking at the successive ionization energies. So what that means is the energy required to remove the first electron from its valence shell, and then we remove another, that's our second ionization energy. And then we remove another, that's our third ionization energy, etc. until we've removed eight electrons in total. Okay, so let's go ahead and look down our table and kind of just look at the gaps between them and see are there any spaces where there's a big jump in the data. So going from the first to the second, roughly we're adding about 1,200 there. From the second to the third, roughly we're adding about 900 there. Okay, third to the fourth, we're going from about 3,000 to about 12,000. So here we're adding about 9,000 there. That looks bigger than the others so far. Okay, let's continue. So from the fourth to the fifth, we're adding about 2,000. Fifth to the sixth, we're adding about 3,000. Sixth to the seventh, we're adding about 4,000. And seventh to the eighth, we're again adding about 4,000. So if we look at these values, one of them is a lot bigger than the others. That would be the gap of 9,000 between the third and the fourth energy level. And if you just scan your eyes down that list of numbers, I think it becomes clear the gap between the third and the fourth number looks very large, whereas the others kind of up until this point seem like they're increasing at a reasonable rate. And after that, they seem like they're increasing kind of steadily. It's mainly that one gap between the third and the fourth that's a lot bigger than the others. So between which ionization energies is there a big jump in the data between the third and the fourth? It's now asking us to use that to figure out what group this element is in. The reason this is helpful is that when we're thinking about our element, we're removing electrons from the outer shell first. Once we're done removing electrons from the outer shell, we then start removing them from an inner shell that's a lot closer to the nucleus. So for example, let's just draw an example here. Let's say we have three electrons in our valence shell. So as we remove each of these, it's going to take more energy each time because as we remove electrons, there's less repulsion between electrons in that valence shell. Um, but when we've got rid of those and we move to our next energy level and start removing one of these, it's so much closer to the nucleus. It has a much greater Coulombic attraction. So it's going to take much more energy to remove it. So that big jump in energy shows us that we've, we've removed all our valence electrons so far and we're into the next shell. So between the third and the fourth, we saw that jump. That means that the first, second and third ionization energies were removing valence electrons. And after that, we started removing core electrons. That means that our element had three valence electrons. That means it's going to be in group 13. Finally, we're asked to find the identity of the element. We now know that it's group 13, and we know from the question that it's period 3. So all we need to do is look in our table and see what's in group 13 and period 3. The answer is aluminium. So that's going to be the identity of our element. So in this question, we're looking for any jump in the data. That's going to tell us what group our element's in, because at that point we will have removed all the valence electrons. We can use that along with the period from the question to figure out the identity of the element.